Hey, what up? You all right? So today, I'm gonna to be painting this as log cabin. All right, crack on. I'm gonna be brutally honest, I fucking hate painting. That's the worst thing I hate out of all the DIY jobs you can do. The paint we've got is the Cuprinol Ducks Back. Yeah, hold on. Uh, Silver Copes, or Copes, depending on how you wanna pronounce that, with five year all weather protection for sheds and fences. And then we've got the Cuprinol. Sheds and Garden in Willow. That is for the windows and the doors. Crack one open. There you go. Oh, that's a great. And that's your green. Good steer up. Oh. The grey seems a lot thicker. Whether or not there's more waxes in the green, I don't know. But that's eight pounds dearer than that, and you gain twice as much in that than that. If you're northern all like me, then you're going to go for the cheaper one, aren't you? Obviously. First impressions, that's thinner than that, and well, that's thicker than that. So I'm going to do the building completely first in this one, get a coat on, then we'll stick the green on, and we'll see what they like. Nice dollopy on the old brushy out, and then apply it. Beautiful. Smell this silk, baby, smell this silk. Get it slapped on. Don't be shy. Your mother's not. <laughs> I don't think you need to see any more of me painting that day, so I'll bang a time lapse on and we'll get it painted. It's spitting, everybody started spitting. It's raining, the first time it fucking rained in three weeks, just as I've uh, decided to paint this. Just finished doing the fascia that's getting rained on, which I'll probably have to do another couple of times, but everything does need another coat. Started putting it on with a finer brush, just like a normal paintbrush in these smaller areas instead of the big one, to be fair. This is smooth wood, and it goes on a lot easier with the uh, smaller brush than what it does using like your uh, wallpaper paste brush, or as they advertise when spring and summer comes, uh, fence brush goes on really easy i'm definitely going to need two coats on this because it's still a bit streaky in parts as you can see just so you've got something to compare it by that's had two coats on that's had one coat so you can clearly see the difference let's get it applied to the wood so straight on initial impressions are Yes, is it worth spending the extra money? Uh, we'll see. So I've applied the first coat. Initially when I first put it on, I thought the coverage was gonna be great, but obviously once it's dried and started soaking, you can still see the, uh, the bare wood underneath. There you go. So it's definitely gonna need two coats. And as you can see, it's a lot more thicker. We've got that glooping off of there, look. Whereas that one just dribbles off. So that's the differences in textures. God, I feel so tired. It only took seven hours to do that today. Jesus, God, I hate painting it. It's so boring. You do it once, then you have to do it again. But anyway, it's done. It's finished. I think it looks great. As you can see, we've got the green and the grey complement each other very well, as you would admit. So let's talk about the Cuprinol paint. Now, Cuprinol Willow, a two and a half litre tin. And I've used about half of that just on the windows and doors. The Cuprinol ducks back there. Fully empty that one, used all that, and there's probably about a litre left in the other tin. So I've used about nine litres, so it's had two coats, but I've been very generous with everything, with the windows and the doors and the walls. I've been really generous with it, so I've not scrimped and scraped, I've not tried to save any if I were going to run out of them two tubs of that uh, duck, duck's back Cooper and all, uh, I would have gone and got some more. Uh, so I've not been shy with any of the paint because obviously you want it to protect your wood. As regards the differences in the paint, the Willow, which is this Cuprinol Garden Shades here, like I said to you previously, it's very watery. Uh, it's a whole lot runnier than the uh, Duck's Back, which is thicker and gloopier, as you can see. There's not much difference in application when you're painting it on. They're very, very, very similar. Obviously one's a little bit runnier, but you just cope and adapt. Would I buy the shades again? If I could get that color, the willow, if I could have got it in the Cuprinol ducks back, 
I would have bought it in that Doug's bag. So if you're in two minds whether or not you're thinking, well, shall I get the more expensive one? Because for the Cupronault shades in that size was 30 pounds. That was 12. So it's a good saving. There's like 18 pounds difference. So if you're buying two of them, it's like 36 quid. Is there any difference? Not really. It still goes on. They both look the exact same quality once you've on and I've two coats. They look fantastic. If you can get the colour in the cheaper, go for the cheaper. If you can't, then you're going to have to get it in that. But given the option, if I could have got it in the cheaper one, I would have done. And it's not because I'm tight, but the quality are the same. Uh, one's got a five year guarantee, that's got a six. How they guarantee that, I don't know. What are you going to do? Take it back in five years' time and go, this looks crap on my fence, and it's all rotten. Give me kind of £12 back, please. It's going to look at you thinking, what a cock. Our log cabin is officially painted onto the next stage, which is going to be putting some storm braces on. So check that video out, and uh, I'll see you the next time. All right, cock. See you later. Ta-da.